I have not driven a SUV that is better than this. Well, let's feel the fury, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Bye. Wow. Jeez, wow. Alrighty then. You should like and subscribe. <laughs> so let's get the ugly bits out of the way. I, I know. There's not much. I know there are two things you don't like about this car. Yeah, two things. One is fairly kind of talked about with this car, which is? Yeah, one is like not a hot take. It's, it, it is an extremely sort of rough uh, ride. It is it's not smooth. You feel every nook and cranny of the road. It is, um, it drives like a, like an old Civic with like a shitty suspension on it. Like it, like I, I just mean in terms of like feeling the road and like kind of how stiff it is, right? And then the other thing I don't like is, uh, God, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like when the you're- collision avoidance. Yeah, you want to throw it. Oh dear. That, that was what I was talking about. Oh, that is annoying. So annoying. So collision weird. avoidance, like it, it, it flashes a bright light. It like all but breaks for you when you like get within 50 feet of a car in front of you and you're switching lanes. And it's very frustrating when you're like, Right. driving and know what you're doing. You're like, right. I'm, I'm nowhere near rear-ending this person. Right. Leave me alone. Right. Here's the thing. To me, this is the best car in BMW's current lineup. Why do I say that? I think the M3 is too big now. F removing the grill that I think is the ugliest thing you've ever seen, I think it's too big. The X5 is massive. The X7 is absurd. Again, X7 is not in this conversation really but like this car is the same size as the x5 when it first came out 20 years ago oh wow which was like a wow. beautiful size for an suv a sport compact it was like this is this this is just a size that's normal every day is perfect you can actually like use it there's room in the back but it still handles like a sports car let's put this in perspective zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds, 503 horsepower and 477 or 79 foot pounds of torque. 10 years ago, that is the fastest super car in the world. That's like, <laughs> that's like every Ferrari, Yeah. blah, blah, blah. I mean, that is supercar power speed. And now it's in a compact performance SUV just right. for my girlfriend. Which, which, your girl, really, which your girlfriend drives. Which my girlfriend drives. Yeah. And it's like her everyday SUV. I mean, that is like, it's hard to put in perspective, like how staggering that is. Okay, so uh, launch is pretty easy. You've got your two um, programmable M dynamic modes. Okay. Um, I have M1 set to like performance comfort steering wheel, but then a sport exhaust and sport suspension and uh, the um, most aggressive shift. Uh, uh, possible and then M2 I just have set to a comfortable and upper, you can actually comfort. and you can actually choose the timing of your shifts in this yeah car. so right now like okay so I'll go M1 double shift right mm -hmm. boom boom so now you heard the exhaust change sport plus sport plus and then comfort steering and then if you look here you'll see shift speed okay and then right here on the um, the shifter I can select to turn it down to a much less aggressive shift speed which will shift around you know two to three the middle will shift three to five and then uh, the most aggressive is a red line or close to red line shift very impressive thank you i engineered it myself <laughs> okay so now foot on the brake gas on build boost okay. So the one thing you didn't like about the car um, was the, uh, you thought the ride was a little aggro. Yeah, so I, w I went on the forums and I kind of did a little bit of research how to soften. Obviously you can go with like a full coilover suspension, but then you get rid of the M adaptive. Okay, or M yeah, adaptive, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't want to do that. Right. Aaron did not want me to do that. So right. what, uh, what research found was that the I-Box spring setup um, it's not a, a race setup. It's like iBox iBox Sports Spring. Okay. Um, it's supposed to soften the ride quite a bit. Now it did. Okay. It definitely made it better. It it improved the ride quality of the truck. Did it improve it to a point where it's actually soft and comfortable? Absolutely not. Right. It's still a very stiff ride. It's better. Still very stiff. So I did iBox Springs. 
um, which gives it a really nice like squattier stance, softens the ride a bit, and then it kind of uh, cambers the wheels a little too much. So I did a 15 millimeter, 12 millimeter spacer just to have the wheels sitting flush and kind of keep the stance looking really nice and OEM. Okay. Um, other than that, I've done nothing. So it has the exhaust, like that little burble is all from factory, no tune. Um, it just has the sport exhaust, which comes with the pump edition. Is the car, the car has, uh, does okay, have wireless so CarPlay? Yeah, it does. We find that it's just easier to kind of plug in. Right. And, you know, it's also a touchscreen, 10.3 inch screen. Okay. Infotainment's actually pretty darn good. How's the stereo? So it is a... Harman Kardon. Uh, it's a 16 speaker stereo and it sounds wonderful. All right, it's cool. great. Um, but, I mean, in here is where you do uh the end dy dynamic modes so you can go to to m2 and this is our comfortable like just normal you right. know you can switch anything so we can put it to efficient we have that in sport so i guess uh, with steering it just changes the load like the effort on the steering the wheel the effort the electronic effort so here we go I forgot what the, the exact figures are, so forgive me everyone for this because I, I, I'm not great at like programming numbers in my head when I read them, but I was reading about this in comparison to the G80 M3 when we got it. And this has like significantly better stopping power. Yeah, I noticed that. I read that too. Yeah. It stops shorter than an M3. Yeah. It's also faster zero to 60 than the M3, um, weighs more. I, I don't really know what happens there and how that happens, but the M3 sucks. Does this have the same power? It, does the does the competition? Yeah, I believe so. Have same a motor. higher, but is that a higher output than the? I, I, as far as I know, it's the exact same motor, the comp motor, 503, 479. Um, it must just be different gearing. I mean, this uh, car just like it just really just hunkers down and gets to it. It's really fun. Like, I did not think it was going to be fun car. It feels really, really good. I would argue the majority of people don't know what this car is, right? The only people who know are people who really know. Other than that, I mean, it's like true definition of a sleeper in 2023. Wow. Jeez. I'm, I'm truly, I'm, I am truly gobsmacked. So I've told Aaron multiple times that I should take this to the track. I think it'd be so much fun on a track. Me too. It feels like a rear wheel drive sports car. It and doesn't feel like a... Tell me like about a, the body roll. Like a small... There isn't any. None. There is no body roll. And it's, it's just so the good. The steering is like super direct. Yeah. It feels light. It feels like flickable. Yeah. It changes directions really beautifully. It also, for a newer car, that has a lot of tech, you get a lot of feedback from the steering. You get a lot of feedback from the motor. Yeah. Uh, obviously the sound. I mean, it's really an engaging car. Like launching, you know, you're not blown back in your seat. The launch is underwhelming. I mean, it does, it, it does have from, when you're setting off from a stop, there is that like, there is like a, there's like a beat or two when you put your foot down, I guess before the turbo spools, and I don't know if it's like some sort of electronic, situation with um, with um, the way that it's metering torque or, or traction control, I don't know what, but it takes a minute to get you off. To engage. Sounded dirty. Yeah. Um, right. It's, just, it's not... So you paid 62? 65. So 65,000 for a car with this much performance and just the practicality of the thing. We throw four dogs in the back when we go to my mom's house. Why doesn't everybody have one? I want one. Yeah, I, it's really good. So Nick, you may have noticed something on our channel, which is we have really, really good view counts, but we have very, very low subscribers. Like and subscribe. So we should really just, uh, camera's over there. Like and subscribe. Like our this. thousandth subscriber What's, if what? they live in Los Angeles, we'll receive $1 via Venmo <laughs> and get to drive this car that's, that's, up to two miles. That's quite an offer, Nick. 
All right, Nick, I'm a fan. I'm on board. I take it. Good car. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, please subscribe, uh, and thank you for watching. Thank we you hope you like this video. Thank, and thank you for watching as well. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.